Hello, my name is Kevin Nadar. I work with BMC Remedy Force product team. In this video, I'm going to talk about troubleshooting SOCAL 101 error. In this activity, we are going to look into what is SOCAL 101 error, how to find the cause and resolve it, common scenarios for cause of SOCAL 101 error, and how to fix it. So look, let's look into when you get a SOCAL 101 error. Whenever you try to submit a record or save a record, you will get an error message similar to this one, a too many SOCAL 101 error message. So what is a SOCAL 101 error? A SOCAL is similar to a select statement used in a structured query language, but is designed specifically for Salesforce data and what actions to perform depending on this select statement, but receiving a too many SOCAL 101 queries message is Salesforce is a warning that we have reached about the governor limit of 100 SQL queries per transaction for a synchronous transaction or an asynchronous transaction. A governor limit or a runtime limit enforced by Apex runtime engine and it cannot be increased by a Salesforce. How to find the cause and resolve it? To find the cause of a SOCAL 101 error, we can run a debug logs. A debug logs will help us in looking the flow of execution on what is causing it. The flow of execution and the common cause for problems could be a custom code, a trigger, an approval process in place, a workflow rules, flows, process builder, or a low rollup summary feeds where the query and the fields are getting executed in a loop process. So to resolve this, we need to optimize this using workflow or template. Like instead of having too many lookup field updates, we can use one template in it. Let's look into a common scenario for cause of SOCAL error and how to fix it. So let's log into Remedy4. For example, we have a service request named as new hire, which is submitted from self service. So on submitting this service request, we may get an error message which says SOCAL queries 101, that is too many SOCAL queries exceeded. So let's look into how to fix this. For example, this service request has an approval process in place with a field update on initial submission. The field update is updating a template, which indeed an, is updating a status. So this is a template update status, which updates the status on initial submission. So you can move the status accepted from the initial submission template to the request definition template, which has been used as status accepted you can add it out here save it so this will help you in reducing the execution of the request definition field update and after that you can remove the field update from the approval process this will reduce the number of queries and help you in reducing the SOCAL 101 error I hope this video was useful for you. I would like to thank you for watching this.